God, the smokes thing broke on the first drive. Air conditioner, another air conditioner. We got more air conditioners than we've got windows. Now, air conditioners aside, today is going to be a monumental day. A day that we have worked towards for the last three or four months on making our come and swapped Mustang run and drive. Now, the last time we drove it all of about 10 feet. You guys get the point. We didn't make it very far, but today I aim to change that. I aim to get it out of our crushed building after we figure out how to get it out with that door kind of messed up like that. So come along and let's go drive the Mustang. Well, now would be a good time to say only about 48% of you guys are subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And now let's go drive the Mustang. It's fine. I meant to do that. Get in here. <laughs> Damn door. It's hot. Is it? You look pretty hot, Dom. I bet all the women that are watching right now just want to have their way with you. Oh my God, Dom, you're so sexy. <laughs> Take your shirt off. Take it off. I'm good. Run around. This is too much belly for them. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Dom. Take that shirt off. <laughs> I'm going to drop the camera. <laughs> Garrett's gonna make me drop the camera. Ugh. Yeah, this is perfect. It's going upside down. Hold on. I'll get this figured out. Like that, like that. And then if I just roll in. This is a secret. Ah, uh, this is a, this is, this is not working. Dom, do you know that you are currently upside down? This is not how you're supposed to be driving a car? Yeah, that's, this ain't how you're supposed to drive no car. Your feet are up there. No wonder my insurance company hits me. <laughs> Dom is currently getting the old gas pedal out. How's it going, Dom? Uh, pretty good. I need a socket, though. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a professional form to remove a gas pedal from a Mustang upside down. But Dom loves it. That's how he loves to do it. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> you look so sad without its heart. Don't worry, though. Your heart went to a very good cause. We're here to rob more parts off of you though. First thing we need is the gas pedal out of this truck and also the throttle cable, which is I think that one right there. Last night we got the new gas pedal for the car and then we pulled the old one out of the car. Now, the problem we need to figure out is this car had a electronic throttle for the EcoBoost and we need to figure out how to make this electronic throttle turn into a mechanical throttle to move this lever down here. And that, that is where we're gonna have to figure out some genius. This might take more than five minutes of thought. Done. All right, good news. I found a bolt that's about the perfect size to take and fit in that throttle cable. So, what I'm gonna do now is make a couple brackets, bolt through. So this is the contraption I've come up with for our gas pedal. Basically, you push down on this, it pulls out of the throttle cable, it makes our Cummins go vroom. Now, I don't know if exactly, you getting the dog's approval? Here, what do you think? You know, it's actually, it's funny how this plays out. Today's my birthday, and exactly one year ago on my birthday was the first day we drove our Cummins powered F-350. And now, a year later, on the same exact day, we're gonna drive the mini Cummins. That's cool how that worked out. News, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you exactly what we've got done so far. So, if you look underneath the steering wheel of our beautiful smoke sting, you will see a nice and shiny Ford brake pedal, and then you'll see a 30-year-old Dodge gas pedal. But that don't worry. That skinny pedal is going to operate something fantastic, something legendary, otherwise known as our 12-valve Cummins. So the gas pedal is officially mounted up to the car. All we gotta do now is hook up the throttle cable and then the throttle should work, in theory. To be honest, nobody's ever put a Dodge diesel throttle in a 2016 Ford Mustang. So, we're pioneers. I guess I can say that about everything. We're winners at all everything, aren't we, Andy? We sure are. Like, we got 12 valve and a Mustang, we're winners at that. Got a Dodge throttle cable, we're winners at that. 
He's like, unless you've got a treat for me, we're not winners. How many pieces of pipe does it take to make an intercooler tubes? Apparently, five million, but we're almost there. I gotta pee. <laughs> Dom is a simple man. <laughs> he sees water, he has to piss. Hey, oh, you're wetting down the burnout pad? Good thinking, Dom, good thinking. We get a car built, and the first 15 feet, we're gonna do a burnout with it. Sounds like us. Hey, you're on there. Bam. Water's in it, intercooler tubes are done, and we've even got an exhaust stack. I'm feeling pretty good about that stack. That that just makes the whole car. Look at that stack. Look how beautiful it is. It's 90 degrees of 12 pounds of sex of steel and I don't know, but it's good. I'm liking it. Now is the moment we've all been waiting for. I have been waiting for forever to actually take this car for its first drive. And it's amazing how far it's come and it's amazing how far it's gonna go. But without further ado, let's fire it up and see if we can get it out of this building. <laughs> it's a 12 valve and a Mustang. It's a 12 valve and a Mustang, it's awesome. This is the first time ever starting it up with an actual exhaust on it. take it back up you move that trash can I'm gonna pull it that way and I'm gonna back it out <laughs> I'm so happy <laughs> it's so amazing this is epic, like this is seriously, like no cap, no lie. This is absolutely insane. We actually did it, we actually made this happen. I hope you're talking because I can't hear you very well. Well, I'm speechless, I really am. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's, it's a 12 valve. 
<laughs> it's a freaking bus stop. <laughs> Alright. This thing's got a lot of room. It's not bad, actually. I don't know what to say. Um, no, this is a small, a small step for my foot, but a big leap for Cummins kind. I can't see. You can't see out of the hood. Of it well, so. it's it's so dirty. It's been sitting in the shop for. Sorry, I'm drooling. <laughs> it's been sitting in the shop for like six months. So. This is so epic. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah. This is so cool. Sure. <laughs> Look at all the people looking. Why does it feel like it's about to die? It's got it's got the big injectors in it, so it's kind of choppy because we don't have bigger delivery valves on it. Look at it in the reflection. Look at it in the reflection. It rides good, the air suspension's nice. We just took it for one spin around the block. We just kind of idled it around the block. We're gonna shut it off, make sure we don't have no major leaks. Uh, I might want to step back, that's gonna be hot. We turned the camera off and- stop. I turned the camera off for five seconds and it springs another leak. Okay. What the heck broke off? Oh, the PVC blew off. The PVC melted. Huh. Well, who thought that was a good idea? It's all I had. <laughs> yeah, this is like Tony Stark, Tony Stark's Mach 1 suit. The one that he launched off into the desert. Mark 2 is going to be so much better. Don't you wait. We're going to improve it. We're going to make it better. And we probably need to fix that. Yeah, that's kind of hot. Steaming the ones a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's just a little warm. Actually, what happened was is I didn't have anything else to take and elbow that over. I couldn't find steel. I couldn't find anything else that was the right color. And I know PVC's got a working operating temperature of like 160. I'm like, you know, it should be fine. So for the Mach 1, I just like, okay, we're going to add an elbow here, cut it there, stick it together, call it a day. But it did not make it very far. This freaking moves. Like, I'm, this is like legit. I'm really excited about this because... I didn't know if it was going to work. Like, I really didn't. I didn't know if the driveline angle was going to be right. I didn't know if a lot of things was actually going to work together on this car. And surprisingly, you know, it was just one round around the block. But surprisingly, in that one block that we went, we hit third gear, everything worked. Except for the things that were leaking. They were kind of not really working that well. So obviously we had a couple troubles with the smoke sting so far, besides for its leaks, but this is not lost because there's a lot of good news to be had. First off, the suspension on the front, the air suspension, I was kind of worried on how it was going to handle the extra weight of the 12 valve. And I took it down a brick road over there and it actually handled it really well. And it didn't scrape the ground, the transmission didn't scrape the ground, it all did great. Also, our electric power steering, which is what most Fords come with today, I was kind of worried, is it going to be able to handle the weight of the 12 valve so uh, we went ahead just to turn it on expertly just like that and it works perfectly i can actually spin the steering wheel with one finger and the other thing i was kind of worried about is if the brakes were going to work very well because this has a vacuum pump off of, on it that's run gear driven well also this has vacuum brakes so we hook the brakes up and actually they work almost just like factory so we have no problems there so there's some bad news to this but there's a whole lot of good news which means we've got problems yes but we have no major problems which i am really happy about happy 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 about <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> so we got it back in the shop and you know what the smoke stain is running great mostly but then problems are not that big a deal to fix so we will get that fixed next time hey if you haven't hit that subscribe button make sure you do so because where else are you going to see a 2015 mustang with a 12 valve cummins in it that's all i'm saying